What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here. Today we're going to be talking about the Nintendo NX and there's apparently an insider report saying that the NX, as much as it will be Nintendo's next platform or what a console, whatever the hell it's going to be, whatever it's going to be isn't going to have as much horsepower as the Xbox One and the PS4. Now, we've been down this road with Nintendo plenty of times in the past. So many people make judgments based upon the hardware of the system and say that the hardware usually is determining the factors that make the longevity of the console itself. But I mean, sometimes it's not necessarily that black and white. Either way, let's take a look at the article right now. I know a lot of people are going to be very opinionated about this, and a lot of people are probably saying that maybe it was the hardware of the Wii U that caused it to fail, but I think it goes a lot deeper than that. And I don't think we should make it just seem as if the more powerful consoles do better all the time, because, you know, if, if, you, if you forgot, the GameCube was the most powerful system in that generation, and it didn't really do all that hot, even though GameCube wasn't a failure, I mean didn't fail anywhere near as bad as the Wii U, that's for a fact. But anyways, let's take a look at this article right now. Um, the Nintendo NX will not be as powerful as the PS4. Um, Nintendo's not interested in playing the power game. This is the usual with Nintendo. I don't even see why this is something that people thought... I mean, but then again, I can understand why people are saying, wait a minute, how come the NX isn't as powerful as these consoles? Because the NX is coming out so far after the PS4 and the Xbox One have been released that maybe people were thinking, okay, if the Wii U is on the same plane as the PS4 and the Xbox One, then obviously Nintendo must be bringing something new to the table. Maybe the next-gen console that they bring out is going to be next-gen in terms of hardware specs as well, too. But let's not forget that the Wii U came out before the PS4 and Xbox One, significantly longer before the Xbox One and PS4. So, I mean, the, the Wii, Nintendo doesn't really play by the rules as the standard um, console makers do, you know? Like, they don't really follow that same format, necessarily. And I've heard Nintendo say plenty of times that they don't consider the Xbox One and the PS4 as much of competition as they consider smart games and tablets and whatnot. Um, the NX rumor machine rolls on, and now we're hearing reports related to the power of the mysterious console. And there are some people that are saying that the NX was um, supposedly confirmed to be a console by Reggie in an interview where he was asked a couple of questions. I mean, and I guess you can say that. Like, he did refer to it as a console at one point in time. So, I, I suppose we can call it a console now, I mean, since Reggie did say it, I want to say that maybe the context that he was using, or maybe his terminology was a little bit off, but, I mean, a lot of people have been telling me about this, hey, Etika, man, there's an interview, Reggie references the NX as a console, call it a console from now on, it's not like we're totally in the dark about it, I guess you have a damn good point there, man, but at the same time, we still know very little about this thing, um, the source of this particular rumor is none other than Liam Robertson of Unseen64, who I've seen his name thrown around before in the ring a little while back, someone who is known as being incredibly reliable when it comes to inside information. He's the same chap who dug up all that fascinating data on Project Hammer, and was also responsible for letting the world know that Criterion almost made an F-Zero game. So this guy as a source is an extremely strong one, and if he says that something is the case, then obviously he's got a lot to merit. So, I mean, excuse me, he's got a lot to back that up. So, clearly we got to give this guy a little bit of merit. That's why I meant to use the word in context. When it comes to uh, information, insider information to this extent. Um, he's tweeted about the relative power of the NX and claims that Nintendo is not interested in taking the current console hardware champ, PS4. Um, at least not in terms of pure polygon pushing power, anyways. The NX is definitely not aiming to compete with the likes of PS4 in a power level. Absolutely sure of that now. So... Clearly, clearly, this dude Liam has seen some information on his end, and I think somebody asked him at one point, and he says, uh, a little birdie told me, or something along those lines. Robertson is famed for being very careful when posting information like this online, and has been repeatedly proven right with his claims in the past, so it's fair to say that he has a pretty solid source in this case. Someone asked him, what makes you say that? And he says, I'm talking to the right people. You know, I know what I need to know, you know what you need to know right now, we'll leave it at that, so... Clearly, we know for a fact that the PS4 is going to be stronger than the NX when it comes to pixel pushing. But you know, Nintendo always has a trick or two up their sleeve, baby. I'm wondering exactly what in God's name this thing is going to be able to do. If pure power is not going to be the focus of it, then obviously it's got to be something else. Nintendo did reference that they were making something that was going to be somewhat based on lifestyles and physical wellness and things like that. You know, things that seemed like it was more Wii Central, but it was going to be pushed to the NX. Or maybe that's a separate console altogether, because I've heard people say that that lifestyle system is that lifestyle... Anyways, um, I've heard people say that that lifestyle system was something that was different as well, too. 
who knows, man? I mean, maybe they're going to make the NX something that'll take more advantage of that um, heart rate a monitor that we saw at 1.2, like that Vitality monitor. I don't know. That thing never came to fruition in one way or another, so who knows? This may be something that's related to that. Um, does this rumor surprise you? Were you expecting the NX to match the PS4? Or do you think Nintendo's aiming for a low-cost system to attract more buyers? Could the console's most, um, excuse me, could the, could the console's mooted hybrid nature, both both a domestic system and portable, mean that it's possible to cram the same power as there is in a PS4? Sound off in the comments section. Let us know your thoughts. Um, right now, when it comes to like my personal opinion on the NX, not that you care. I mean, everyone's personal opinions are the same on this internet, right? Shit. But um, still, if you want to ask me what my personal opinion is of this, I I would have to say that the NX. I don't think it needs to focus on pushing power, Nintendo never really did to be successful, but they do have to take into consideration that they need third party support, and I'm hoping that the NX has plenty of that on board, and just for you guys who are going to probably say, oh, Nintendo doesn't need third party support, they don't, they don't have to have third party support, I mean, they do, they really do, that's why these guys have been pushing the NX to these guys, um, apparently at E3 they even had an interview with these guys, and they were talking to a lot of third party developers and showing them concepts of the NX and whatnot, and Things were looking good from that point, but obviously you can't judge the lifetime or the, or the, or the success of a system based on a couple of meetings at E3. Um, this thing is going to go a lot deeper, and it's going to take a lot more time to figure out exactly what the longevity of the NX is going to be, since you know we know nothing about it right now. But still, the NX is probably probably going to have something. I, want, I, want, I don't want to say gimmicky, because it makes it sound like such a negative. I mean, it's going to have something that's going to be a unique pull to the console, but there's just no way to know what it is right now. It's way too early. Uh, Satoru Iwata already claimed that we're not going to learn anything else about it until 2016. I don't think there's any point in us speculating at this at this time. There really isn't because we know absolutely nothing. If there are any more leaks, obviously we're going to find out about them. So, hey man, there's a lot of time before 2016. And if there's one thing that we should all unanimously understand in this gaming community is that the closer you get to something being released or even something being talked about in the gaming industry, the more likely you're going to have leaks of that said product. And that holds true for the NX, I think, as well, too. I know Nintendo must have their asshole puppet up real tight to ensure that nothing comes out. Old man status, but I mean, at the same time, I don't know, Nintendo, man. Like, like you guys, I mean, you're good at keeping things wrapped up up until a certain point and then out of nowhere it seems like the leaks just happened i don't know how the shit goes down man it's like it's it's it's, it's, it's like a badly written novel and the shit happens every single time with every single product that nintendo is trying to keep under wraps who knows man either way guys let me know what you think about this in the comments i really don't put any value on the nx being stronger than the ps4 because if it was i guess that's great but we already know at this point that nintendo doesn't need to push power in order to be able to beat out the competition or to make a console that we all love and enjoy I mean, look at the Vita compared to the 3DS. The Vita was way more powerful, way more advanced. Architecture that I think was really cool. Um, modern, everything. Fresh UI, but it still failed like crazy in America. I mean, I don't know. Nintendo's got the juice, man. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.